If you don't ask, you won't get. You give up over $500,000 over the course of your career if you don't negotiate your first salary. So you can see what a big impact not negotiating your first salary can have. I'm really glad that I took what was a huge risk in self-advocacy. There's never been a better time to be a woman in science and medicine. Good afternoon, everyone. We would like to welcome you to our inaugural Women in Science Day at Albert Einstein College of Medicine. So the event is Women in Science Day. It was inspired because the UN a couple of years ago named February 11th the International Day for Women and Girls in Science, and we wanted to sort of celebrate that here at Einstein. So our goal was to focus on building some personal and professional skills that we thought were necessary for career success. And these themes like speaking up and effective networking, negotiation, and self-advocacy really came up throughout the year in a lot of our other events, and we thought that it would be nice to have a larger discussion. And we received just an immense amount of support when we reached out to the Graduate Office, the Career and Professional Development Office, and the Office of Diversity Enhancement. And they encouraged us to really celebrate this day and create this community and network of women here at Einstein and Montefiore. Maybe they're the only woman in their lab or realize when they go to some meetings they're the only woman in the room. But I think hopefully from this event they can see that there are a lot of women at Einstein of varying levels of leadership. And so hopefully we can bring everyone together and really say, you know, you're not alone, we're all in this together and we can build each other up. Our group plans monthly events ranging from workshops, journal clubs, and networking meetups. A women's networking group. They really ran with it. They conceived of the idea, they reached out to their network for speakers, for concepts, and the faculty support that they were able to obtain I think was critical to making this event really a, a success. It doesn't hurt to say, can you give me a strong recommendation? And then listen to the feedback. I've talked to a number of faculty who are actually very interested in partaking in this event because they would like to actually pass on and be a mentor so then they can share their experiences and help provide that support network for people that are still training to succeed in their careers. This event is so important because I think there's still a lot of confusion about how many different kinds of opportunities there are for women in science and technology specifically. So this event in part is bringing together all of these spectacular women scientists at Einstein and having us sort of learn from each other how we've made it to this point in our career, what we wish we knew when we got started, how we built our networks and how we've gotten mentored and have provided mentoring to junior scientists as well. And so I think the real importance here is just letting women know that there are all these different kinds of paths that you can take with a PhD in a scientific career. Because these are the types of gatherings that make an appreciation of where you're coming from, where we're coming from, where we are now, and where we all need to go in the future. I think there's multiple reasons why it's so important. One, it really provides women with professional development education that you're not necessarily getting, right? If you're a scientist in a lab, you're getting a lot of education that focuses on understanding that science and work, but you're not getting a lot of education on your own professional development. So being able to have that in a nice forum is great. And then the other thing is it's just a, a wonderful community building opportunity at the institution as well. So it highlights some of our are great faculty. It allows for collaborations between our students and faculty and continues to help us see the kind of community that we are. I would like to offer a round of applause to our panelists. We are hoping that we will inform our Einstein community of this amazing legacy that we have as an institution of a lot of pioneering women scientists, but also we are hoping that we will build a larger community and that we can kind of sustain this momentum that we have from today. <laughs>